Hey guys, it's Brit Bread TV, and welcome to my very first speed art. Today we have Celestia Ludenberg from Dongen Rampa Trivia Happy Havoc. Dongen Rampa is a really, really good series. I really do recommend watching it. I'm going to try my best not to spoil, even though I'm really just going to be talking about the drawing, not really the game. So I had like a lot of trouble with the hair, like the twin drills, those those were hard to draw, but I managed, They at the end they turned out pretty good, I'm really proud of how they turned out at the end. You will see me like mess with the hair a lot only because you see how they are now in the sketch they're going to change you won't see the change because I did it off camera so you'll see me trace over it with the with the black layer but it's gonna change by the time I start uh, filling in But yeah, Celestia is a really good character. Like, I, I really enjoy her character. She's very smart, very intelligent, really good with like the class trials. She's really good with those. Another thing, I'm kind of new to digital art. I think I did pretty good. Now this is not like my first time doing it, but like beforehand it was just all trying to mess around with it, get used to it. But I think for my actual like first final recorded project, I think I did pretty good. And I hope that I'll get better. Well, if I keep practicing, of course I'm going to get better. That's just all a part of practicing. So hopefully like the more I do these, the more you guys see that I get better at it. So I put that tie there, you see me drawing the little tie there, that's going to be erased later on because I realized in that sprite, um, in that sprite her tie goes all the way down. Even though sometimes your artwork doesn't have to be exact, because this one is not really exact to Celestia, but you know, I made the tie longer anyway. And by the way, just in case you don't know what a sprite is. If you ever watch a game such as like Dog and Rampa or um, Doki Doki Literature Club, I think Persona as well. I'm not sure. I haven't watched any Persona. I'm going to. Don't hate me. I'm going to. But um, you see how the character changes from one pose to the next. Those those are called sprites. But 
Hey, put in the comments, what, who is your favorite character? I really, really love the way her face turned out. Like, I think it's really adorable. So now I am filling in. Um, I tried to do this thing like you fill up the entire artwork and then you do a clipping mask a clipping mask which keeps me from like uh, col coloring outside the lines and for some reason it just wouldn't work the way that I wanted to so I was like okay well we're gonna go layer by layer and it worked that way so yeah, I'm doing the hair. I don't know if you noticed the quick change. I should have like zoomed out so you guys can like see the change. But I made like the trend, the trend, the twin drills a little thicker because if you look at a video of a video, but yeah, if you look at a, a picture of Celeste, her twin drills are very thick and I drew them a little thinner so I made them thick off camera but yeah I'm doing a little adjustments here and right now I'm just filling it in before I put in the details If you're liking how this artwork is turning out, give this video a like. And if you want more, feel free to subscribe. So yeah, I just finished coloring it in, so now I'm about to go in with the details. I tried to do this um, dark shading with it, but it wasn't working for me, so I just went with my usual. I just go by like whatever color, so like her face, you see that her face is like that skin color, so I will make a darker shade closer to that skin color and shadow it from there
So I decided to do like the shading on the clothes with the gray because I feel like you can see the body a little better instead of going dark like I did like the face and what I'm going to do to the white spaces later on. With the red I believe I went light with the tie. I think with the eyes and mouth I did like I went dark but with the eyes I did something a little bit different I know I said that I wasn't going to talk about the game so much, but I kind of want to explain what Danganronpa is for those who don't know what it is. I really do recommend to go watch it. So, Danganronpa is basically a game about high schoolers. Within that high schoolers, it's about 16 students. Um, they're trapped, basically, and they all have ultimate, like, whatever their talent is. So, you, so just... For example, Celestia, the ultimate gambler. She's really good at gambling. She never lost a bet. Like, basically that. Then they have other characters such as, like, the ultimate martial artist. Um, the ultimate baseball star. And so on. So, um, within that school, there's a bear called Monokuma. He was the one that trapped them, basically. And... He forced them to go on a murder game. Basically, the thing is, is that in order to graduate, you have to murder someone and get away with it. So if a murder happens, they'll basically do an investigation, do a class trial, vote on who they murderer is if they vote correctly the murderer gets punished if they vote incorrectly then they all get punished except for the murderer and the murderer graduate basically and that's a pretty much a Duncan Rampa like the basics of Duncan Rampa We're getting close to the end of the video. I'm, I'm hoping you guys really, really enjoy this um, speed art of Celestia Ludenberg from Dog and Rapper Trigger Happy Havoc. Like I said, leave a comment. Who is your favorite character from any of the Dog and Rapper series? It just don't have to be from the first. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't be afraid to give this video a like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so that every time I upload, you won't miss it. Have a nice day.